April is National Donate Life Month to encourage people to register as organ donors to perhaps help save a life. That's right, and that's the case for a Morgantown professor who's awaiting that opportunity. Alex Hines has more on this tonight. He's at the web desk. Alex. Well, Don and Amanda, Tamana Ahmed's battle with kidney disease began two decades ago, and without an organ donor, there's no end in sight. Boxes and boxes. All of these boxes line the upstairs hallway of Tamana Ahmed's Morgantown home. They're all full of supplies for the at-home dialysis she needs to do for five hours every day to survive a kidney disease she never saw coming. I did not know that I have this kidney disease. And then I went to a doctor one time for checkup, and I had like a high blood pressure. And so he said, we do some blood tests. And then he said, oh, kidneys are not doing well. That was 20 years ago, and things have only gotten worse. That's why her family has set up a website to help her find an organ donor as soon as possible. Ahmed is a chemistry professor at Alderson Broaddus University, and while she's been able to teach remotely, she's not sure what the fall semester will bring when students return. Uh, it's, it's a long process. It takes at least five or more years to be on the list. So some patients, you know, they may die for waiting for the kidney to come. The one silver lining in her condition is that an organ transplant would solve the issue entirely, enabling her to travel to her ancestral home of Bangladesh and enjoy time with her family and young grandchildren as if nothing had ever happened. And she's looking forward to the time when that becomes a reality. I'm not fool myself that I was. And if I can have a living uh, kidney, if I can get one and have a transplant, then I can live a normal, healthy life, and then I'll be free. Now, there is one other option to get a transplant, and that is for her to find a willing live donor. To do that, Ahmed would have to find one, and doctors would then need to confirm it's safe for the donor to give up one of their two kidneys in a procedure Ahmed says is covered completely by her insurance. We'll have a link to her website with more information about her story at WBOY.com. For 12 News, I'm Alex Hines.